Past year chapter 7.1 and 7.2 Acids and Bases Titration Question number 5 2013-2014 5A Define Buffer Solution Buffer solution is a solution in which the pH does not change significantly if a small amount of strong acid or strong base is added to it. 5b. Explain how the pH of a mixture of aqueous ammonium chloride and aqueous ammonium remains constant when a small amount of strong base is added. Give suitable equations in your explanation. So the answer is, first of all, you have to write in a basic buffer solution that consists of NH4Cl and NH3 solution, you have to tell which one is undergoes complete dissociation. So as we know, NH4Cl undergoes complete dissociation. And then we have to write the equation, refer to the equation 1. And then we have to tell which one undergoes partial dissociation. So as you can see, NH3 undergoes partial dissociation. And also we have to write the equation as shown in the picture. Thus, this basic buffer solution contains high concentration of NH3 and NH4 plus ion. And then we have to explain when a small amount of strong base is added, the OH- ion dissociated from strong base reacts with the NH4 plus ion in buffer solution to form NH3 and H2O. So, the equilibrium position in equation 2 shift to the left. You have to write the equation as shown. So, the added OH- ion from strong base is completely removed by the NH4 plus ion. Thus, the pH of the solution remains constant. Question 5C. A buffer solution of pH 4.84 was prepared by dissolving a certain amount of sodium ethanoate in 1 dm3 of 0.2 mol ethanoic acid. So the Ka for CH3COOH has been given. Question 5C1. Calculate the mass of sodium ethanoate needed to prepare the above solution. So first of all, you have to write the equation and then we will use the formula pH equal to pKa plus log conjugate base over weak acid. And we just substitute and we substitute the unit and we will get CH3COO minus equal to 0.2491 mol. Based from the previous equation, molarity of CH3COONA equal to molarity of CH3COO negative which is 0.2941 mol. So to find the number of moles of CH3COONA, we will use the formula molarity equals to number of moles over volume. So we just substitute the unit and the number of moles of CH3COONA will be equal to 0.2491 mol. To find the mass of CH3COONA, we will use the formula mass over molar mass and the final answer we will get mass of CH3COONA equals to 20.43 gram. Question 5C2. Determine the change in pH after the addition of 1.0 cm3 of 0.5 mol hydrochloric acid in 100 cm3 of the buffer solution. So first of all, we have to find the number of moles of CH3COOH using the formula MV over 1000 and then we just substitute the unit and we will get 0.02 mole. 
Next, we also have to find the number of moles of CH3COO negative using the same formula MV over 1000 and at the end we will get the number of moles of CH3COO negative equals to 0.02491 mole. And lastly, we have to calculate the number of moles of H plus ion also using the same formula MV over 1000 and we will get 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole. And then, we have to write the equation CH3COO negative plus H plus and we will get CH3COOH. So for the mole initial, we just copy the mole that we have calculated it before. And then for the delta mole, we will refer from the H plus ion. Negative sign will put for the left side and positive sign will put for the right side. And we will get the final mole which is for CH3COO minus is 0 0.02391 for H plus ion we will got 0 and for CH3COOH we will get 0 0.021 mole next to find the molarity of CH3COOH we will use the formula number of moles over volume and again we just substitute the unit the volume will be 101 over 1000 because we have added 1 cm3 into 100 cm3 before. And to convert to liter, we have to divide it with 1000. And we will get the molarity of CH3COOH equals to 0 0.2079 mole. And then... We have to calculate the molarity of CH3COO negative also using the same formula and we will get 0 0.2366 mole. Don't forget to put the unit. To find the value of pH, we have to use the formula pH equals to pKa plus log conjugate base over weak acid which is CH3COO negative over CH3COOH and then we just have to substitute the value and we will get the value of pH after addition of hydrochloric acid is 4.8009 and then to find the change in pH we just need to calculate 4.84 minus 4.8009 and the final answer is 0 0.0391 That's all for this video Remember, subscribe, like and share. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to consult with your lecturers. Stay at home, stay safe. Bye!